The internet is a big part of our life, but how much of your life are you willing to are you revealing to strangers without even knowing it? On your side, consumer reporter Jen Strathman shows you how companies track you online. We put an average computer user to the test to see if someone who didn't know her would find enough information to steal her identity just by analyzing her online habits. Flashing images, pop-up advertisements, and sites that remember who you are without logging in. They all make browsing easy, but this technology is doing more than meets the eye. It's absolutely tough to surf anonymously, privately, and securely. When you click on a site or type something online, that information is tracked by businesses. What is a little big brother like or big sister like? Companies use a tracking device called a cookie to keep tabs on you. It's a tremendous tool for advertising, but it's also a tool that can put your family at risk. Is this your daughter's name and grade? Yes. Roughly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Celeste Asmar thought she was taking the right steps to protect her daughter's privacy. But these security consultants know her daughter's school and homeroom teacher's name. That I find very troublesome. Celeste doesn't know the forensics team at Secure State, but they knew all about her. With her permission, Secure State analyzed her computer internet files to see if she's leaving behind a digital footprint after she's done browsing the internet. Pretty much I went through almost everything you did. Mm -hmm. and, and saw what kind of information you provide to websites. The information you provide during browsing is saved in a dozen locations on your computer. Secure State found little bits of information all over, then pieced it all together to form a profile. Is this where you work and generally your position? Uh-huh. Age-ish approximate? Yes. Unfortunately, okay. got my weight in there, too. <laughs> Not quite, but Celeste's Internet files reveal her age, address, unlisted phone number, her husband's name and activities he likes, and the car they just bought. But that's nothing compared to this. Are those two one of your socials or social of someone in your family? Uh... Yes. A social security number is all you need to steal someone's identity, but it gets worse. I have his username and password for TurboTax. My husband will be horrified. Celeste's husband saved a chat session with a TurboTax representative in a Word document. He emailed the document to himself in case he needed the technical advice later. Secure State found the footprint for that email. Any file that is sent through webmail could be saved in the cache that attacker could then gain access to. There are simple things you can do to protect your personal information long after your browsing session is over. Over. Log out at the end of the session, delete your cookies, and go into your tools menu and select private browsing. Go into that mode and any data that's stored during that when you close the browsing session will be deleted. These are simple steps you can take to erase your digital footprint. The hackers are already finding ways around these security tools. There's what's called an ever cookie that stays on your system forever. It's very new and security teams are scrambling to find a security patch. They're also working to find a way to deal with an invasive new security threat that makes it simple to use the cookies on your computer to log into your accounts. We'll have more on that tomorrow at 6. But tonight, go to newsnet5.com and download the step-by-step -step security instructions if you want to start browsing more securely. On your side, Jen Strathman, News Channel 5.